The Mutual Legal Assistance Tax Matters Amendment Act 2014 received a rapid passage when legislators approved all three readings of the bill during the ninth sitting of the House of Assembly on September 11. Acting Premier Dr. Kedrick Pickering explained the urgency of having the bill passed. He said there is no attempt to deny the public an opportunity to scrutinize the bill before its passage. Rather, the bill ensures that the BVI complies with requests for information under its Tax Information Exchange Agreements, TIEAs. The number of items standing out of 52 is relied upon to effect three readings of a bill largely depends on the number of emergency brought before this Honorable House. It is therefore for the public to understand that starting orders 52 should never be used to stifle debate or limit or hinder public opinion. The Mutual Legal Assistance Partnership, sorry, the Mutual Legal Assistance Amendment Act and the Partnership Amendment Act 2014, which we hope to get, get through today, Madam Speaker, deal with subject matters that are already public knowledge. They seek to deal with matters that are the subject of recommendations contained in the published peer review group report on the Virgin Islands concerning the territory's tax regime. It deals with the intergovernmental agreements entered into by the government and the multilateral convention on administrative assistance on matters entered into by Her Majesty's government in the United Kingdom on behalf of the Virgin Islands. Both bills relate to and have serious consequences for the territory's financial services industry if not dealt with expeditiously as there are important timelines involved. Madam Speaker, I wish to repeat that. Both bills relate to and have serious consequences for the territory's financial services industry if not dealt with expeditiously, as there are important timelines involved. Opposition leader Ralph O'Neill gave his rationale for supporting the government in its bid to have the bill passed promptly. He says it is not all about politics. I know what it is when you have to make use of the provisions in the law. to pass a bill and first on its introduction. I have done it and we got to do our best. It's not a matter of politics. It's a matter of the country. It's a matter of the country. And we have to do it. Madam Speaker, and, and um, it might be a bitter taste to some people, but um, the bud may be a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. And uh, I, I, I mean, full support that we can um, go ahead with this this bill. The Mutual Legal Assistance Tax Matters Act 2003 is a legislation under which tax information exchange agreements are implemented. Amendments to the Act were passed in July this year. Health Minister Wani Skelton spoke of the threats against the BVI financial services industry and highlighted the two areas of the Act that had to be amended. The bill calls for, in my mind, about two short amendments. One to give the Minister the authority to to make orders and publish them in the Gazette, and the other for the automatic exchange of information instead of information on request. We have no choice. The, the, the authorities around the globe are attacking financial services. And when you do one thing, it's another. It was the OECD alone with the level playing field issue. Now, is there a playing field now? <laughs> There's probably no playing field now. So leveling the playing field and it doesn't exist doesn't make a lot of, a lot of sense. But as money becomes scarce in the world, Madam Speaker, 
This is what happens. The tax man around the globe looking for their fair share. So we have no choice but to try to accommodate this, these initiatives while at the same time, Madam Speaker, the government has initiated um, a task force, so to speak, to look at the whole financial services sector and where, where we think we should be, uh, where we think we should be going in the future. That's a good initiative because nothing lasts forever. The amendments to the Mutual Legal Assistance Tax Matters Act were expected to make provision for the automatic exchange of information under the Intergovernmental Agreements, IGAs, signed with the U.S. and several other countries, including the BVI. Under the U.S. FATCA, the BVI Finance Ministry will report information on U.S. account holders in the BVI to the U.S. IRS.